American Negroes and West Indians, you're not African. So now he's telling his disciples straight up, go not into the way of the Gentiles or don't go into the way of the Gentiles. Don't go to them. And into any of the city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Now the Samaritans were a group of people that were trying to keep or cleave on to the Israelite or Jew laws that are found in the Bible. So he said, don't even go to them. It says, but go rather, instead of these people, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So it's about Israel, basically. So now, I've also read that Christ and the Most High and everybody in the Bible are basically Israel, that the main focus of the Bible, and that the Lord's only dealing with Israel, but can't anybody just be an Israelite? <laughs> Not at all, because when you read the Bible, you have to be born an Israelite. You understand? That would be like... Being born in that faith? Not born in that faith, born physically. Because to say that you become an Israelite would be like me to take it back to a worldly level saying that a white man could become an African American. Mm -hmm. Now, just to put that in your mind, that's absurd. Being an Israelite isn't a religion or a faith, or being a Jew isn't a religion or a faith. It's a nationality. It's the, it's the nation you're from. Let me read this quickly. This is Exodus 19. Just to prove that point, this is Exodus 19. I'm going to read 3 first. It says, Exodus 19 and 3, And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel. So keep in mind, the children of Israel are being spoken to. Let me read verse 6. It says, And ye shall be unto me, ye or you Israelites, shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. Not a holy religion, a nation. When you look up the word nation, it comes from the root word natan, which means to be born. Like natal care, where they take care of babies. Or native. Or native. origin. Exactly. So you have to be born an Israelite. That's what it's about. All right, so now check this out. I can't front. I've seen brothers like you teaching on um, 42nd Street, different parts of town. Mm -hmm. um, are you affiliated with other schools and organizations that dress like you and claim to be Israelites also? Well, we're not affiliated with them, but we teach relatively the same thing, and we know them also. I mean, I'm not going to lie so to you. I heard some people teaching that we were African, but some, you said we weren't. Some Israelite groups teaching that we're Africans? Yes. See, well, now that's going against the Bible. From Broadway. Well, that's going against the Bible. That's why I say some I mean, groups... They, sell, they even sell African art artifacts and stuff like that. Right. I know who you're talking about. Some groups, what they do is... See, our main focus is the Bible. Look, history books and everything, whatever they say, forget that. It's about the Lord being true and every man a liar. So now what a lot of these other... A lot of some Israelite groups have done is they've gone into a lot of different history books and they try to say that we ruled Egypt. But the Bible says that what? Israel was in captivity in Egypt for 430 years. Right. A lot of these groups, they go into history books and guess what? They pull out things like Michelangelo was black, Leonardo was black, he's I Israelite. I mean, but come on, man. How could everybody in the planet Earth be black? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Read the Bible. <laughs> I mean, that's come. See, and it's sad to say that, you know, you hear these things from these different groups and it'll cause someone like, I'm feeling what you're saying. Right. But it'll cause the average person not to want to accept what you're saying because they might hear this person over here saying one thing, mm -hmm. this person over there. How, how can we distinguish which organization or which group of brothers that mm -hmm. are Israelites to listen to and try to learn from? Let me get this. This is Romans 3 and uh, 4. The key thing is who's going by the Bible because it's not about what I say or what the elders of the church say. It's about what the Lord says. If the elders of the church are going off, you have to look in the Bible. Are they wrong in what they're doing? And you have to say, look, they're wrong, so I'm not going to feel that. That's why we encourage everybody, don't just take what we say, like you're brainwashed. Research everything for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. And that's what I do. I, I live like that. Yeah. That's good. I can tell that. Let me read this. This is Romans 3 and 4. It says, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. Are these people saying what's in the Bible, or are they coming out of their own words? Or all right? their own books. Or out of their own books, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Does the Bible say that the priest gets five million percent of your paycheck? 
You understand? <laughs> or does the Bible say that we're supposed to be out there teaching this word, giving it freely? Let's read on. It says, as it is written. That's the key thing. You go by the Bible as it is written. No word interpretation. For word, right? word for word. Exactly. And why do you go word for word? Let's read on. That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. If you're going by the Bible, who could judge you? Who could come against you? You're always going to be justified. So now if I'm saying, well, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Muhammad, who was, who was really an Arab, Muhammad was an Israelite, where's that in the Bible? Where's that in the Quran that he's an Israelite? Where's that in the Quran exactly. if, if you want to go by the and Quran? And that's their book. Right, exactly. So it's, it's all about the Bible. You so you're not affiliated with these other schools. You just know who they are. You recognize right. them as fellow Israelites, right. but they're not teaching the doctrine, and your doctrine is straight coming out the Bible. Right. Certain ones aren't teaching the doctrine coming straight from the right. Bible. Exactly. So who would be considered your leader? Christ would be our leader. All right, let's get Ephesians 4 and 5. So even though you're yeah. Jews, you do believe in Jesus Christ. Definitely. Because when Christ came, he came for the Jews. So you have the so-called white Jews, they don't believe in Christ. Do you understand? Except for the Jews for Jesus, which that's totally off anyway. But a lot of people, when they look at us, they look at us as a cult. That's why they always say, who's your leader? And they, say, and they also say that you're a hate group. Because right. all they hear you, they say, yeah, all they do is teach hate and say the white man's the devil. What's, what's that all about? Now, check this out. We're not, I believe that you said Christ is your leader. I'm right, gonna, right. I'm a, you don't even have to show me that. Because right. Christ is the leader of the Israelites. Exactly. So if you're an Israelite, he has to be a leader. You can't be a Jew and not believe in Christ. Exactly. But address that fact about being a hate group and always, all they see is the white man's the devil, the white man's the devil, the white man's the devil. Now, you know what it is? It's, all, it's, it's funny how people can always pick up on the negative and hardly ever the positive. But we're not a hate group. We're actually a love group because we teach loving God and loving our people. But then we also teach the truth about the Bible, you understand? And when you read the Bible, the question is, do, I'm going to ask you, Zaquam, a lot. Does God hate when you read the Bible? Of course. Of I course. mean, he's a man of war. Of course. But a lot of people, they don't know that. So when we bring out according to the Bible, which let, let me read quickly. It says, this is Malachi, the first chapter, um, verse 2 to, uh, the first chapter, verse 2 to 3. It says, I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say... Wherein hast thou loved us? So God does love. When he say, I've loved you, saith the Lord, you find out that he's speaking to Israel here. When you read the first verse of this chapter, it says, now he's going to go on. The Lord says, was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. So God does love. It says, and I hated Esau. And you can read the same verse in the New Testament in Romans 9, 13. So when we come out and teach, look, God does hate. So now all of a sudden we're labeled as a hate group. Do you understand? But it's, it's what's so in the Bible. Def are you a terrorist organization? No, we're not a terrorist organization. We don't blow up buildings or burn crosses on people's lawns or anything like that. And I've never known you to hang people by a tree or exactly. a lamppost. So. So, some people like to call us the, the black KKK. But the KKK hangs people by lampposts, burns crosses in front of people's houses. We don't do that. All we do is teach. That's all we do. We teach. Not your own words, but the Bible. But the words of the Bible. Now, exactly. let me just sum this up and ask you one last question. Mm -hmm. Where are the women? <laughs> I mean, you guys. Where are the women? Okay. I know you're all against homosexuality. Right, right, right. In the Bible, but where are the women? When I see y'all, you know, I never see the women. Where are the okay, women? Okay, let's get a scripture briefly. First Timothy 2 and 12. Let me not speak for my own words. Let me let, me, uh, let, me let the scripture speak. When you read the Bible, and we don't, you know, we're not anti-woman. I, I had a couple of sisters, you know, right. Israelite sisters on the show, so, you know, I just want to hear your point of view. Okay. I mean, we love our women. According to the Bible, we treat them with respect. But the Lord has a place for everyone, men and women. Let's read the place of women. This is 1 Timothy 2 and 12. It says, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over a man. Now, that's why we don't have women out in the camps teaching like when we're speaking on the street why not because we feel that we feel that we're perfect ah women can't but it's well, when you go into the bible the lord has an order for everything we're living our lives by the bible and it says and not nor to usurp authority over a man teaching is a position of authority also very good now when you read titus the second chapter verses three through five the bible tells